Bring me up. Lift what? me up. See, you want me to talk shit? Why don't you talk Who's the worst basketball player? What are you doing? You're a weirdo. Weirdo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit weird. <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Serge Ibaka, AKA Mafuzi Chef, and welcome to How Hungry Are You? I do art, and this kitchen, it's art. Why are you yeah. seem so excited to eat this? Oh, thing? man. Oh. <laughs> Spicy. Don't even tell me what it is. Bro, this is disgusting. You want to trust him? No, hell no. Today, I will be cooking for a world famous chef, Marty Martinson. I'm about to meet Serge Ibaka for the first time. We're about to eat some crazy ass shit, animal parts. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's animal parts that I don't even realize exist. But Serge Ibaka is going to feed them to me. Welcome to How Hungry Are You? I'm Marty Matheson. Huh. Mari does it all. He's a triple threat. And so am I. Can he keep up with my skills? He says he will eat anything. But will he eat this? Uh. Lamb testicle. But before I design art, I need to set the mood. Serge Ibaka, a.k.a. Mafuz Man, and you can't see for the motherland, Miss Ambea class. Keba, keba, keba. Keba, keba, keba. Nino. Keba, keba, keba. Vamos! What's up, Serge? What's up, Mari? How you doing? I'm good. Welcome What's up, to everybody? Show. I'm Maddie Matheson. Welcome to How Hungry You Are with my co-star, Serge Ibaka. He plays basketball. Have you ever seen a dunk, a dribble? Do you know what a slam dunk is? I'm about to slam dunk his food into my belly for the first time ever. I'm the biggest <laughs> guest, I'm the specialist guest. There's no guest that's bigger than me. I'm as big as him, my belly. I can fit three of him inside of me. Will he fill me up all the way? We will see. Take a look with your eyes, feel with your mouth. Serge Ibaka, fill me up. All right then, let's do it. <laughs> let's go, let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mari, welcome to How Hungry How Are You? I'm very hungry. This is a nice setting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this is nice you. for us. Thank you. How are you? Everything I'm good. Life's good. Life is good. I got no Family is good. My family, uh, they're healthy, beautiful children, a powerful, strong wife. Okay. And uh, you been to Africa before? Have I been to Africa before? Yeah. <sighs> I haven't made it yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. I want to. Okay. I really want to. So today, I'm going to take you to Africa through this food. I want to go. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna start today with this food. It's okay. come from Africa. This co it's called fufu. Fufu? Yeah. I like that. Fufu and this agusti is from Nigeria. Almost everybody in Africa. Right. They eat this kind of food. And that's just like a, like, like a little pillow, a little cloud. Fufu, yeah, it's almost like, uh, you know, mashed potatoes, you know, eat it. Yeah. I touch it? Yeah, we eat this with our hands. That's okay. why. So we don't need these? We don't need this. This is for the, the, the losers. The losers. <laughs> yeah. No right. right. No good. No good. You're right. Yeah. I like that. Uh, why even here? Exactly. Why, why, even, why here? even here? You're right. You wasted time. Why are you trying try to add cool for no reason? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh. Plates? You forgot something though. Prayer? What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Pray to God? What, 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 who's up there? You should use the fork to put the food in. Oh. Just the hands. No, you you, no. you share with me. You hey. No, not like that. Not like that? Yeah. We'll get a spoon. You <laughs> one spoon. See? Here we go. We're back. We're back, Serge. See, you know, I'm here for you. We're here for each other. No, we, need to, we need to clean one. New one. Yeah, new one. Yeah, new one. Please, new spoon. Okay. New one. New Thank one. You. You new one. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's do it. Uh, Please. I'm exciting about this one. Me too. Okay, this is goosey with beef. Beautiful. Okay. Just Where's here. this, a grain or like, like, like a... Yeah, it's a, it's a grain, like a grain. Wow. Okay. I love this. This is the beef. This is you, the you beef? Eat, what kind of beef? beef? I eat beef. I eat anything. Okay, so we don't have fork. I'm going to use this one. Okay. Uh, wow. You see? It's like a marshmallow. Yeah, it's so good. This is for you. Okay. Wait, That's mine? It. Yeah. Okay. You just take it? Okay, take it. Okay, take it. Right here. Uh-huh. This is how you eat it. Okay. There we go. And we take it, we yeah. make little pockets. Wow. It's fantastic. Did you make this in the back? You look like a chef. I, no, I, I'm not a chef. You're not a chef. I heard you, you're a chef. I'm the best chef in the world. You are a chef. You cook. I cook. I'm just a cook. But I'm not a chef. I don't cook. I design right. food. The mind. So I'm food designer. Food designer? Yeah. An architect. An exactly. architect of the culinary senses. Yeah. 
Spicy. Oh, it's really spicy. <laughs> A little pepper gummy. Mm -hmm. We try some of the beef now. Do you want me to? What are we doing? Yeah, it's really beef. This is fire. I don't think I eat like testicles and. Shit. Nobody said that you're gonna like taste like all this stuff. I'm like, eating like this beautiful beef and like a goosey. I'm just gonna get your trust. That's why I have to make sure you like it. The first one. You're being sneaky. A little bit. Oh. I have to be honest with you're you. You're being a little bit. trickster. So since I got your trust, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you go from being raised a mono to become a party? Oh, how did from being Mormon? Yeah, Mormon to become a party. Like you to, to a psychopath. I was brought up Mormon. Yeah. Strict Mormon for about 13 years of my life. My family moved away from where we lived, where there was a lo large amount of Mormons. We left. We went to a different province. There was no Mormons. So we stopped going to church one day. So you was going to church because of people, not because of God. I think most system. people do. I was very strict. I never okay. I never watched television. I never saw The Simpsons growing up. I never drank a Coca-Cola. I never had anything. And then all of a sudden, this whole world opened up to me. And I was just like, da, 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 da. turned into a, like a little badger. All of a sudden, I was just like, I can do whatever I want. I'm going to go steal a BMX. I'm going to go do drugs. I'm going to smoke cigarettes. I'm going to do beer. I'm going to do everything that I can to get my hands on. And then, you know, 15, 20 years of that doesn't really end well for most people. And then, you know. Well, thank God you're here now. You're healthy. Thank God. Yes, sir. I'm back, full circle. Thank God. Do you think it helped you to stop, you know, with drinks, Absolutely. drugs, everything? So I stopped drinking and doing drugs 10 years ago. Okay. Right? At the time that I was drinking and doing drugs, I thought I was at the height of my career. I was a chef. My restaurant was busy. I was, you know, people would write articles about me. A lot of ego, mm -hmm. right? Then all of a sudden, I almost lost everything. And then I was just like, oh, I have nothing. I'm nobody, right? Mm -hmm. Very humbling moment. Then I had to rebuild trust. I had to rebuild my little world. And as I did that over years, it grew and it grew and it grew. So where's the, where's the love from food come from? The only school I got accepted to was culinary school. And within that, I learned discipline. I was getting good grades by doing something relatively easy. I loved that. And then I went and worked at like the best French bistro in Toronto. How did you become a chef? Default. I, I, I worked at a restaurant and the chef was fired. I was a sous chef at that time. And they were like, do you want to be the chef? And I was just like- Just like this. I was- I was You want to be a chef just like this? I was 24 years old. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. And then at 26 was the first time I opened my first restaurant. And that was an interesting thing too, where it's just like, you know, I've opened and closed many restaurants. I've failed and I've Friends, won. Huh? Oh, failing's amazing. Failing's incredible. You open a restaurant, then yeah. you fail. Do you learn something? Like, what, what, how's the process? It's like... I think failing teaches you to listen. Because once again, at a young age, I thought because I was a chef, because I was had that title, I could do whatever the f I wanted. I was invincible, right? And a lot of mistakes that I chose to do failed. We closed restaurants. We lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. We were humbled. We were bankrupt. We were endless amount of things. You have to be very aware of yourself to continue. You heard the man, right? Make sure you pay attention. Pay attention, okay? No, I got one. This is like a TED talk, eh? <laughs> You know, we all we, we all have some bad days. We all have bad days. You know? Every single day. So, what is the worst meal you made? What's the worst meal I've made? Yeah. <laughs> a lot. I made a pasta once, and I tried to make a, like a spaghetti. And it was really early on in my career. And I made a curry spaghetti with like shrimp, chicken, and then I put slices of lime in it. Lime. It was stupid of me. It, it, it was really dumb. Yeah. And I didn't understand that's how to no develop sound, a that, dish. That must sound good. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, that's what's fucked up. It was fucked up. <laughs> it was too many. I was crossing the wires, you know? It was a lot of shit going on. Craziest food you have in it. I think like I've, I, I've had like that uh, the shark, like the fermented shark in Iceland that tastes like like a hot, like you know when you pee in a urinal and there's like the puck? I don't know about it. Tastes it tastes like something like that. You, I've just- Did you pee before? Well, of course I have. You have? You're not a wild man? Yeah, there's, so it you, gets all mixed up sometimes. Okay, it all, it's so, all so you know the taste, up. you know the taste. The reason, okay, you know the taste, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, if you say so.
You had your first acting job on the bed. Yes. How do you like it? How is it going? I'm a hard worker. I'm a nice guy. I got a great vibe. Fuck your vibe. Don't ever fuck my vibe. <laughs> Acting is a lot. It's a lot? It, it, it is, uh, it's scary, right? Like remembering words and being able to go in there and to act and be normal and to do mm -hmm. everything where I'm like, you're acting with really great professionals, right? Yeah. Like once again, it, it, it's, I'm, I'm doing something I've never done before. So it, it does scare me, it, but it is something that I'm like up for the challenge. And it's like, it's been very rewarding. And the people around me have given me a lot of advice. How long have you been doing that? Just, I've only acted once. Like, I'm like, I started as a producer. So I produce the show. I make sure everyone cuts vegetables right and mm -hmm. the kitchens look cool and all mm -hmm. that. And then, and then they're like, we want you to act. And I was just like, ah, I don't want to be a chef. And then they're like, we want you to be the handyman. I was like, well, I don't know how to fix anything. So that's perfect too. So it's a little stressful, but you do things you've never done before. It's yes. scary, you know? If it's fun, that's the most important. Are you, are you having fun? I'm having the best. It's the best. It's that's great. A, that's a good. Yeah. It's something you love to do, having fun. You know, I'm a fashion icon. I you know, have, you know, I, I know I you're a fashion. I can see it now, and I close my eyes and I see you as a fashion icon. Okay, but you just launched your own brand, closing line. Yeah, Rosa Ragosa. Okay, it's called Rosa Ragosa. Rosa Ragosa. This one's dirty, but it's okay. Are you like fashion? Like, what made you get into fashion? Well, as you can see, I am obviously very fashionable. And once again, I think I love doing things. Thanks. I love doing things that I've never done before. You want one? I'd love to tailor you. I'm oh, gonna yeah, make I would one love it. custom for you. Yes. Any color. We, we any can do color? any color. Do you like green? What's your favorite color? I like gray. I like black. I like even I like this the color. Blue? The blue? You would look too. good. Yeah. You look good in it. Thank you. What do you mean? You look good? Oh, you said I look good? You look good. I, I would, in the I would look good in the clothes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm really lost why here. <laughs> why so many tattoos? Why so many tattoos? Yeah. Oh. Why, like, why, why so many tattoos? It's, I, I got questions. Yes. Why? why you get into tattoos? Because of the look? Yeah. I want to know exactly. Okay. So I grew up in a small town. Uh -huh. And at a very young age, I became very obsessed with like punk music and like heavy metal. Mm -hmm. And the people that I looked up to were covered in tattoos. Do you regret now? Do, Do I regret it now? Yeah, you regret it now? No, because, no, I'm very, no. I'm very at peace with the way my body looks. Okay. That's but but it is one of those things where it's like, um, you know, I always promised my mom that I wouldn't like tattoo my face. But you, you But I've come close. You, 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 I came I mean, close. I don't know, I don't, this is a face. That is the face? Yeah, well, here, like yours, here, it's face. It's, it's face. All right, uh, we're going to spicy questions. So, um, we're going to take a break. We're going to... Fix everything. Now we go to spicy. Our last question, spicy question. Okay, no problem. Well, now we're gonna play this game. It's called spicy game. Spicy game. Yes. Okay. So here we have a cricket tea. You ever had cricket tea before? Cricket tea? Yeah. No, okay. never. See cricket tea here, and um, I'm gonna ask you questions. Yes. All right. You have your right to answer, or you don't want to answer that. Okay. But here's the game: is if you, every time you don't answer questions, yes, you take a shot of cricket tea. Okay. It's just tea. Yes. Is that spicy? Uh, I don't know. You will find out. Okay. You can see you got some cricket inside. Oh, here. cricket tea. Yeah, cricket tea. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Exactly. So cricket tea. Okay, cricket tea. You got cricket Crickets. here. Yeah, yeah. And cricket tea here. And I'm gonna add some extra crickets. Extra crickets. Extra okay. protein. So it's a lot of crickets. Yes. You have to also, or if more you, crickets. If you okay. don't wanna drink it, and this, this is something that you, you you grew up having, or is this just like a thing that I'm like F me? No, I used to eat it when I was young. Okay. So here we go. My first question to you is, who's the most overrated celebrity chef? Who's the most overrated celebrated yeah. chef? Who's the most overrated? See, you want me to talk to Why don't you talk Who's the worst basketball player in the world? No, my question is mine, your answer is yours. My question is mine and you need to eat crickets too. No. Because like, if I'm going to make cricket tea, you need to answer my questions too. No. Because this goes both ways. This is how friendship it's not both works. Ways. Here this is, is how friendship works. Here's the game. Who's the, the game. worst basketball player? Do you wait. feel comfortable saying who the ba wait, worst wait, basketball wait, player wait, is? Wait. Wait, like I say again, you have the right to not answer. 
Okay. The, if you don't answer a question, you take okay. a shot. Okay, sure. If you answer and you're good, you're safe. Cricket tea. Okay, go okay. ahead. So, who's the most overrated celebrity chef? No, 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 you have to take some crickets. Go ahead. Eat some crickets? What do you mean? Yeah, you have to eat some crickets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Who's the worst celebrity you have ever met? Who's the worst celebrity I ever met? Yeah. Who's the worst celebrity I ever met? I'm trying to think because I don't care. One time, he wasn't an ass. He wasn't. Oh, no, that just meant to me. He, he wasn't because I was like an idiot. Okay. That's the thing. I pissed off Bill Murray. Okay. And, and, and I felt like a loser. I was drunk and I went up to him and I should have never went up to Mr. Murray. And I went up to Mr. Murray and I was drunk and he was at this event and I tapped him on the shoulder. Okay. And I was just like, hey, Bill Murray. And he looked at me and he was like, yeah. And uh, and I was so embarrassed. And, I, and then and then ever after that, I never spoke to another celebrity in my life. So now I don't ask anybody for photos. Okay. Except for you, I'll ask for it. I would We're best friends. Good. This is good for you? High protein. High protein. Before a game, you slap a couple yeah, cups yeah, of these down, eh? It's not that bad, right? It's not that bad? Exactly, right? It's not that Take bad. a sip, my G. Bro, yeah, it's not that bad? You smell it? You smell it? That's nice for you? Yeah. It's really nice. It is nice. Okay, sorry. That is nice. I enjoy it so much. Now this one. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, uh, it looks like he enjoyed it. Enjoy it. Yeah, fill it up. Fill it up. Let's go, big boy. Let's go. <laughs> so, which Toronto restaurant that got a Michelin star or didn't deserve it? <laughs> <laughs> All of them! <laughs> I'll still just drink this. This is crazy. These are just real crickets. These aren't like, 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 uh. Yeah, these are real crickets. Oh. What do you, you tell? It was like a joke? No, it's just like a What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. What you should do. <laughs> Ask me any question. Let's keep it going. Okay. If the house was burning down, Joan or Trish, who would you save? Who? Trish or who? Joan, my Joan, mom? Joan, whatever. My wife. Sorry, mom. Yeah, I'd save my wife. I'd drink that for you. There you go. You drink that. I love you, mom. She knows. She she would martyr herself. She'd be proud of me. Joni's a she's a warrior. All right, you know? then. She'd that's take it. one for the team. For me to have my happiness. That's it. Hey. That's it. No. It's, that's we, it. Yeah, yeah. Spicy. Yes. Spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. 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 Okay. We got the final dish and then we go. Final dish. Yeah. <laughs> This is the fun part of today because now I'm about to push the lamb testicle. I'm gonna slice my lettuce right now. Does Marid even eat vegetables? I hope so, because this is a lot of work I'm doing right now. Here I got the two testicles here, lamb testicle, and I'm about to cut the testicle. This is my first time. I'm cutting a testicle, so I'm excited about it. Let's see. Yeah, I just cut a testicle today. Yeah, I did. Now I'm gonna put the testicle on the flour, egg, and the bread crumb for the fry. Here we got some Szechuan peppercorn. Very nice and spicy, smooth at the same time. Now I'm about to fry the testicle right now. I have to use some technique, very important. If you didn't know it, I'm gonna teach you right now. This is how you do it. You don't just drop like this because you can't get burned. So you have to put smoother and push. Yeah, got it. <laughs> this is what I call art. Now I'm gonna build the sandwich. And let's do it. Let's put lettuce and tomatoes. Now I'm about to put the testicle to make my sandwich. A little bit of peppercorn here. And mayonnaise. Voila. This is art, baby. Picasso, I like it. All right, Mr. Chef. Mr. Basketball. No, 
food designer. Food designer. I'm not basketball player here. Not basketball, it's chef. We're food not, designer. I'm food designer. Mr. Food designer. Yes. Yes. How hungry are you? I'm starving. The first meal I got, I got your, I got your trust. The first meal was incredible. That's Truly. right. And that then was I kind of slowed meal. down a little bit with uh, the crickets. And we had to. Now cricket. I'm gonna take you up again. Bring me up. Lift right. me up. Let All me right. fly. Okay. So today I design. I didn't cook or make. I design for you. Okay. Lamb testicle. Ooh. <laughs> Hoagie. Hoagie. I, I love you, it. I heard you like um, fry. Lamb testicles are my favorite. Oh yeah? You, you had lamb testicles before? Uh, yeah, I've eaten testicles. I've eaten a lot of different testicles in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Okay. Huh? Have you had a lot of testicles? What? Lamb testicles? This is my first time. And oh, I, this is your first time having lamb testicles? Lamb testicles. But you say you got a lot of testicles. I've so had okay. a lot. Um, I don't want to ask what kind of testicles you had before. Let's just eat. No, you're an animal. You're an animal. animal? Yeah. Okay, let's just eat this lamb testicle I designed for you. Can I have it's, it? Yeah, you can have it. It's like a fried chicken. This is my first time too, with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the fry. Wow. You taste it? Taste what? The testicle. The testicle? <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff going on in it. There's onions and tomatoes and bread. Yeah. Can you taste the testicle? Not particularly. Can you feel the difference? Oh, you want to just eat the testicle? Yeah, just go straight to Tesco with them. It's delicious. Testicles soft, not chewy. Got <laughs> 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 right? You say you, you, you have eaten a lot of testicle before. Yeah. This is different than all the testicle you ate before? Yes. What a different testicle than all the testicle you you had in the past. I used to serve them in my restaurant. Oh. So I've eaten them a lot. What is that? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it don't taste like testicle. Well, what would testicle taste like? It's an organ. Most organs taste like, like scrambled eggs, to be honest. You're weird, though. You know that? Yeah. Weirdo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit weird. Yeah, for sure. OK, but good thing, though. Hey, I thrive in the weird zone. I'm hungry. It's good. <laughs> I'm not eating carbs though. I don't really want to eat too many carbs. Good. Good for you. No. Yeah. All right. Te more testicle. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this was I Hungry Are You with my guy Mari. And uh, you guys see how he killed this testicle. And uh, it's not his first time to eating testicle. So I guess he already know. He know. I don't know. The first time. Anyway, oh, he doesn't thank know. you guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, right, cheers. Cheers. Well, I didn't know the testicles was this soft. This is a soft testicle. Triple threats. Triple threats. Oh, sh. Now I'm gonna punch. Punch, no, punch. I punch the testicle. <laughs>